Hello, everybody. So, <sighs> boy, it's been a bit crazy time right now. Um, I saw another fellow YouTuber do this and uh, figured I'd let my followers see how to make it. I am going to make a solar fountain to put just in the solar garden there and then back there in the garden itself. That way I can give the pollinators some water, my hummingbirds, things like that. So this is what I'm going to be working with today. Okay, so we're going to start off with some nice planters. Um, we're going to need some tubing. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think this was quarter inch. That fit good on my pump. And then we have, I have two different ones. I have two different solar pumps here. These are just an acrylic tray. Um, I'm not sure how long they're going to last with uh, the sun. It should last the season. I might have to replace it next year. It's a dollar store thing. No big deal. And then I also got some of these really cool glass rocks. And I'm going to put those um, on top of this tray. So, and the tools you're going to need for this is something to melt this tray. Um, I have a wood burner here. That's what I'm going to use, and I'm going to be hooking it up to my little uh, power bank because my cord is just not going to reach far enough. So stay tuned. We'll show you how to build a little cheap. Uh, I think I'm probably in this 40 bucks, maybe solar fountain. So stay tuned. All right, we got it plugged in. Oh boy, it's heating up fast. Um, somebody else I saw on another video, they just got um, just a regular metal skewer and then they heated it up on their gas stove. It was a very clever idea. So let's just see what we can do here. Oh, like butter. Actually, try to think which way is gonna be better to do this. I think I'm gonna do it from the underside. Let's see how that looks. Yep, the underside is better. Otherwise, we have a bit of a raised edge here. So definitely that way. Okay, so I'm just going to start by just placing a few holes. That way the water is able to circulate. Oh, yes, I hear my puppy. Okay, so I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes. I don't know if you can see that. And then here in the middle, that's where I'm going to have this come up. Oh, I did it again. Let's try this again. All right, I'm going to set that off to the side, let it cool for a second. While we're waiting, I'll do this other side. And I'm going to do it all the right way this time. All upside down. Okay. Oh boy, is it hot. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, Whew. I love this little guy. I tell you, it's super handy. So let's just grab a piece of my pipe. Where did I put my pipe? Here it is. Let's see if we did it. Try the cool one. Nope, that one's a little too small. Uh, still too small. So we're going to just kind of hold this and kind of circle it. Okay, there's that. Woo! Boy, toxic. Good thing I'm not doing this for very long. All right, let that cool down for just a second. Let's see if we can get this piping through. All right, because all I'm going to want it to come up is about that much. This one, same idea. Super easy. This is just going to, 
Let me try this other side. This is just fits right over the top of the pump outlet. Let's go ahead and get this undone. Okay. Trying to see how much exactly I'm going to need for this particular one. A little bit of water at the bottom of this, so it should hopefully help keep that suction down. Oh, I have plenty. Ah, I see now. So, one thing I did see on a video, uh, on the same person's video, is they made a little channel for this cord to go through. So, I'm going to do that just towards the back and just put this on here. And we're just going to melt a little bit away. Ooh, excuse me. That way, this cord is not going to interfere with the stability of the top. Alrighty. Woo! Hot stuff. Come on. There we go. Definitely the way to go. If you can, I'm sure it's it's doable with that metal skewer. Uh, personally, I'm going with this. Lots easier, and that's going to go right there. You can see that, no problem. So we're going to go ahead and do the same on this one. Make sure we have a decent channel for it to fit through. I might need to adjust this. We'll find out after I get it in here. Oopsie, there went that. All right. Whew. There we go. I'll come back and show you the final product in a second. Okay, so this is how it how it ended up looking. Got that down there with a little bit of water to keep it suctioned down. I probably could definitely cut some more of this, but I'm going to leave it just in case. But this one I ended up cutting a little bit more. And as you can see, ah, definitely hooked on. This is probably could use a little bit more work, but I'm not that concerned about it. Um, We'll see how it goes and if I need to or not. So, got the panels hidden because those pumps will kick right on right away. So, we'll give it a shot. So, we're filling it up. Sorry if you hear the generator in the background. I'm going to fill it just a little bit to just about the lip, I want to say. I made sure it was in a good level spot. might take a little bit for this thing to start working but we'll check back in a second well you can tell it's starting to work I don't have a whole lot of Sun happening quite yet so but uh, once it starts uh, getting really sunny it'll work I think I could probably get away with two more bags so I would recommend five of the dollar store bags but it is sure gonna be pretty right there out in front of the cabin got a little bit of sun finally and as you can see we got a steady stream coming out and uh, it's draining like it's supposed to let's take a peek at that kind of see in there I can hear it I hopefully you could but I'm pretty happy with it so we will do the other one here pretty soon but that's basically how it works. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Well, that's it for this video. Solar fountain is running great. I still need to go put the same one in the garden, but I don't think I need to show you guys that. I might show you later on in another video how it looks once the garden is a little bit more put together. 
So have a great day. Do us a favor, like and subscribe if you can. We got a lot of neat projects coming up, uh, some uh, tractor maintenance, and uh, maybe working with our new pizza oven. Have a great day, and I love y'all. Thanks for showing up. Bye-bye.